Our project is self-indulgent electro smart shoe and we are the students of St. John the Baptist CBSE school Nelgonam. I am Riju, this is Vaisha and this is Archana. So as per the devil as per the today's development, uh, there are many advantages taking place in the world. There are many improvements in the technology. There are many different things are being developed. But what use? Just think about it. If there is if we can't charge all these devices, what is the use if we use it in any extreme areas? So let us review our project. Our project is self-indulgent electro smart shoe. So first of all, we shall uh, look about its its uh, IR anti-collision system. This shoe has one of the major features is that IR anti-collision system. When a person when a person it is very useful for blind candidates. If <coughs> if the person is blind and he can't see anything, this shoe this shoe can help him a lot. Suppose uh, now there is nothing in front of the shoe; it's not producing any sound. If I keep an object in front of it. It's producing a sound. The object can be anything. The intensity of the sound depends upon the distance. If the distance is closer, the, the it will produce more sound. Its next feature is while walking, this shoe can produce about about 20 to 30 volt as the output as the output of the piezoelectric cells. The, its shoe sole is not an ordinary one. This sh its shoe sole contains about about five piezoelectric cells, which produce total about uh, about 11 to 20 volt. This produced electricity is in form of AC and need to be converted to DC. And this electricity is converted to DC using capacitor and a diode. Then what's the then another feature is that it has it has solar cells which helps in this solar cells helps to recharge the battery while the person is walking in a, in sunlight and or any bright environment this this solar cells provide light for it. Uh, despite this it has another feature is that it has an RF transmitter. It has an RF transmitter. While if the uh, if any person is lost somewhere in the forest or any any extreme area, we can find him out with the help of this RF transmitter. These RF signals can be traced by using any RF receiver. And suppose uh, today, uh, suppose due to any terrorism, any child is lost from them, their parents, and if he had worn the shoe, then they can trace the location of the of that child using the signals produced from this shoe. So let, uh, let's move to the next feature. This shoe has an uh, automatic night detection system. If the person is going is alone and he has no uh, no source of light to 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 walk in the night, uh, this shoe can be useful for that. Suppose uh, when uh, when getting into forest in darkness and if there is no source of flashlight or any other light to walk, this shoe is very useful. It has an LDR and it's a simple circuit. There is no loss of power. Suppose when a person began to walk into darkness, this LED will automatically glow up and it helps to walk. It, pro it provides enough electricity to for walking the person, walking of the person in any darkness, any intensity of the darkness. And the next feature is that metal detector. It is one of the important and major feature of the shoe. Today, as we know the development in army fields and there are many new, new kinds of metal detectors are being discovered. Uh, but what problem they have is that uh, many of the metal detectors are bulky and very difficult. We, we can't carry them easily. But this shoe, we have designed a system so that this metal detector is made in form of microchip and, and it can provide about source of about uh, about 3 or 5 inches metal it can detect. So uh, we can demonstrate it by using here we have used some, some metallic coins and using while well, we have placed it on the table. Now, when we bring the metal, when the when this bring when we bring this metal detector near the coins, it will produce a beep sound. Not only coin, it can detect any kind of metal, such as even gold. Also, it can detect. Sub, uh, in many conditions, the people lose their gold ornaments and valuable metals, and it's difficult for them to find it out again from the that place. So, what they are, what uh, this shoe can help is that. It, is, it provides a sixth sense such as metal detection. It is very helpful for the project. By increasing its frequency, we can use it for, for army also. Because many are uh, die, many soldiers are dying each year because of the landmines. They, they are getting victim of these landmines and other uh, under, underground mines. By increasing the frequency, we can in, increase the range which it can detect the metal. Uh, it's another feature is that while if the battery is about to be replaced this uh, the shoe will the shoe will warn the person that the battery has become old and you need to replace it by using a continuous beep sound 
and this has many features and can be very useful for the society and it has its all components are made in a simple circuit there is no micro microcontroller used in it and uh, as it is more simple and it can be very very durable and even in rain also it can work we can make it waterproof using some by coating the circuits by silicon and such waterproof materials and we can just show a demonstration of how the electricity is being produced in the in this shoe we have connected this to a, to a multimeter now and after by when we apply pressure onto this shoe the the reading in the multimeter began to show how much while we while we press onto the shoe the, the reading of the metal detector changed you can see by just a single hand it can produce about to 1 to half volt but while we, we wear it it can produce maximum about 20 volt this is not usual because most of the piezoelectric cells are producing just millivolt but we have we have modified the ordinary piezoelectric cells to produce more electricity from the normal from the normal range it, but usually the piezoelectric cells can't produce 20 volt but here in our model it can produce about 20 volts and it is, and let's look about the affordability about each year about 45 million dollars are being spent for for recharge for just recharging the mobile phones and other multimedia devices but if we if we give if we make this kind if we make use of these kinds of shoes we can reduce that that expense on recharging mobiles because the electricity produced in this shoe is fully economic and it's it's rechargeable and it's eco friendly we, we shall show a demonstration of how the it charges a mobile first of all here it's a normal mobile use does it's a normal kind of mobile so first of all we have to connect it to the cable and then the second step is we have to connect we have to connect it to the uh, to the shoe after connecting after connecting this to the shoe it will it will begin to work and it can produce electricity and that's all about it thanks for watching